not the, not a real deal. I'm not saying it's not a virus. It sure is. We don't have a cure for it, just like we don't have a cure for the cold or the cure for the flu or anything else. And oh, by the way, don't you think it's really interesting if you look at the stats of how of how not right now all the COVID-19 coronavirus deaths are rising. Guess what's dropping massively? Deaths from pneumonia, deaths from the flu, and deaths from uh, from heart disease and heart attacks. Don't you think it's a bit ironic? What, are people not dying from heart attacks anymore? Are people not dying from, from pneumonia? Are they not dying from the flu? Nope, apparently COVID-19 and coronavirus fix that. So now every person that dies now, for the most part, is getting labeled toe tag with COVID-19 coronavirus. Think about that, people. I don't know what to tell you other than it's crazy. And every one of you better share this information with everybody on your contact list. And when I get done, you should start a watch party about this. You can get zinc lichenate still. You can get you can get quinine still. You can get Schweppes tonic water still. You need to be rocking that stuff out. Yes, you can get vitamin C. Yes, you can get all these other products. Yes, you can get D. But I'm telling you right now, that zinc and that quinine is a game changer. That's what's being used, and you need to use this preventatively in your life as well. So, again, I'm not making any claims that we're curing anything. I want to be real clear about that because I guarantee you people are going to take this message and spin it. Crazy doctor from St. Louis claims he can cure COVID-19 with zinc and supplements. No, I never said that. No, I never said you can cure anything with chiropractic. No, did I say you could cure anything with a vitamin because in our country, it is illegal to make claims about curing anything unless it's a drug. Did you know that? It's against the law. It is against the law. If you come to my office and we give you vitamins, minerals, nutrients, and uh, IV therapy, and we give you good foods, and we get your diet right, and we get you healthy neurologically, and your cancer goes away, and if we claim that we cured your cancer, Dr. E's going to jail. Dr. E's practice is shutting down. But if, if, if we do all this work and your, sickness, your symptoms and sickness goes away, guess what? That's not our problem. That's the world you're living in. But most of you don't know that because we're stuck with our heads either in the ground or up our rectum. It's time to pull your cranium out of your rectum and wake up and go, what the hell's really going on right now? Because there's a lot of crazy shit happening in the world and a lot of fake news. And oh, mark my words, this week is supposed to be the week of hell in our world. It's because of crap like this. So I'm going to encourage every one of you, wherever you're at in the world right now, see behind the curtain. It's like that movie, The Wizard of Oz, when the great and powerful Oz is there, and Dorothy and Toto and the Tin Man are all there, and they're all scared to death because this big fire-breathing man is telling him this is what's going on. And what's really happens, Toto goes and pulls the curtain back, and we see that there's a little old senile man behind the curtain that doesn't know what the hell he's talking about. That's what's happening in our system right now, and you're being lied to, and you're being a sheep, and you're letting it happen. That's your decision if you want to do that. You, you think I'm fired up now? You think I'm fired up now? I'm here to defend you. I'm here to defend my freedoms. I'm here to defend my family's freedoms, my patients' rights to choose what to do with their life. I, I'm just blown away. And I'm blown away why there are not more doctors like me talking about this all over the place. We should be banding together right now. Doctors, and there's a lot of you watching from all over the world. I see you. I see you doctors from Europe. I see you doctors right now from the United States. I see you on this feed. I see the 1.5, uh, you know, 1,500 people that are watching this live right now. And every one of you needs to share this right now. If you're a doctor, share it with your patients. If you're a, a person that cares about others, share it with your loved ones. People need to know what's going on and what's possible. And if you missed it from the beginning, you better go back and watch this thing because you're being lied to. Little babies that claim to be dying in, in uh in, in uh, Baton Rouge, Louisiana, from COVID-19. Shame on you for reporting that. Shame on that. Shame, shame, shame on that uh, governor from Connecticut that reported that a little baby was killed, uh, died from COVID-19 coronavirus, and they come to find out the parents came out and said, no, my child had an accident at home. That, that guy right now needs to have a resignation. I'm calling for that guy's resignation. All of you in Connecticut, I'm sure some of you guys are there. Your governor needs to resign right now for spreading fake news. They're spreading blatant lies that are going to kill people. Blatant lies that are going to kill people. Not to mention kill our economy. You guys, I'm just telling you, I'm not taking it anymore. My gloves are off. I've been polite. I've been politically correct. I've been nice about it. But I'm not taking this shit anymore, and you shouldn't either. The truth is going to come out, and the truth will set you free if you'll let it. But you got to open your eyes. you got to start seeing with 2020 vision. And there are things that you can do right now to help yourself improve your health. And by the way, we're going to get through this. The next couple weeks, we're already starting to see some declines. 
Yesterday we saw some numbers drop on infections and on deaths. That's great. Guess what? They're going to scare the hell out of you into thinking that it's going to come back. And if you're not ready for it with your vaccine or whatever you've got, then you're going to die from this thing. You know what? Here's the truth. The truth is this. Get healthy. And now's the time to do it. Most of you guys are on lockdown for the next two weeks to four weeks. It's time instead of getting fat, let's get fit. Let's eat right. Let's exercise. Let's move. Let's take our supplements. Let's get some C, some zinc, some vitamin D. Let's get some elderberry, some astragalus. Let's get some quinine. Let's get a good probiotic, and let's eat good, clean, healthy foods. Not the crap in the middle of the aisles that's processed, but go get some vegetables. Eat a little bit of fruit. Eat some clean meat, some grass-fed beef if you can. Hydrate like crazy. Get outside and get some sun, and this too shall pass, and your immune system and your body will be healthy and strong. And you won't have to worry about this stuff. I got people coming to my offices every... Okay. So... This kind of goes on to what I was showing the other day with the world meter Hundred and thirty-two thousand births and rising. Fifty-five thousand deaths and rising. Vehicle accidents, suicides, alcohol, smoking, malaria, cancer, AIDS, HIV, mothers, abortions, children under five, seasonal flu deaths. Hmm. I may have to go back and check, but I'm pretty sure that hasn't moved very much. In fact, let's just click on it. Today, <coughs> 459 seasonal flu deaths. Every year it's estimated that 290,000 to 650,000 people die in the world due to complications from seasonal influenza. Hmm. It corresponds to 795 to 1,781 deaths per day due to the flu. Oh my goodness, and we've never locked down from this before? I think y'all need to get your fucking shit straight. And this doc, yes, he's a chiropractor. Here he is, on Facebook. Look him up. Eric Neptude. Neptude. Neptude, however he said his name. Amazing how that works, isn't it? Now let's look at something else. Oh, no. That's the one I want. We'll go to the CDC's site. Flu report. Da -da 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 -da. Just for a quick look. Because I know I don't have very many people on my page, or many that really care about everything that's on my page, Influenza A, H1N1, 91.7%, oh, that's when they were done. Week 13 of this year, week 40 of last year. Hmm. There's only been 44? Or 54? Huh. Influenza B, 21. Hmm. In case we can't see this. Influenza positive test reports by CDC by U.S. Health Laboratory, Public Health Laboratories. National Summary of 2019 to 2020. See that? Here's the weeks. Week 14. 
Week 13. 12, 11, 10, 9. Wait a minute. Subtyping not performed on all of these. But H1N1's right here. I thought we got rid of H1N1, people. How about H3N2? Oh, that's the red color. Aha. Uh -huh. So see. Uh-oh. Hood report. Hood report. We got a hood report. Talk to y'all later.